Good afternoon, Mount Vernon. This is Chris Phillips, your Public Works Director. I am here today with Alex, who is our project manager for the Mount Vernon Library Commons project here. Alex, again, number one is congratulations on the new baby girl. Thank Welcome you. back to the work site. Uh, can you give us an idea of what we've got going on behind us? Sure. So we are in the process of wrapping up our subgrade foundations, and then we are working on some of the vertical elements now. Um, you can see the shear wall being formed behind me. We're also in the process of installing our under slab utilities, and that's really pushing to get that slab on grade, that floor down um, in about three weeks time. The way we're approaching the building is sort of a west to east. Um, so the west elevator pit right now is receiving its final layer of waterproofing. Um, it's up to the slab on grade level, the floor level. And the east elevator pit is actually down, it's about five feet below slab is when you start your, um, your pit. And so we're putting the waterproofing on that. That'll actually pour this afternoon. Right, right on. Awesome. And the number of uh, concrete trucks that we had over the, the foundation pouring, uh, could you give an idea of like cubic tons and how many trucks uh, have been here? Yeah, so we split our mat foundation into two sections. Uh, we poured the last section last Monday and we had over 70 trucks on site throughout the day just to pour half of our mat foundation. And it was 1,400 cubic yards between the two different pours. Wow. That's a lot of concrete. It is. How about for the uh, for the column? Those columns range in height. Um, I would say it's probably on average about five trucks uh, per column, and we're running multiple columns a day. So you're going to see concrete trucks uh, in and out the job site all day long. Awesome. As far as the um, Tulip Festival, uh, again, we got a big weekend coming up with our Tulip Festival downtown. We're going to be opening up Second Street, the turn lane there, and the south side of Kincaid Street will be opened up. And that starts on Thursday evening. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah, we'll be pulling those fences in throughout the workday on Thursday, um, have both those lanes back open to the public through the, the Tua Festival um, and pushing those gates out when we need them again. Okay. One last uh, question dealing with uh, the Commons project here is, what do you have going on for the next, uh, say, the next month, if you could look out? Yeah, so over the next month, we're really focused on getting our floors poured. Um, so that means getting all our underground utilities installed. We have a few layers of insulation below the slab. Um, it's part of that passive house envelope. And then the actual slab prep and pouring is a pretty involved process as well. Um, those slabs have to be nice and flat, nice and level. Key part of this project is to have a really good slab on grade four. So that's where we are focusing our efforts right now. Okay, awesome. Well, that's, uh, that's it for our April update today. And uh, again, we thank you and we'll look forward to seeing you next month. This is Chris Phillips and Alex Carey. Signing off. Thanks much.